G'day cunts, welcome to a brand new episode of Lou Review. My name's Lewis Spears and today, unfortunately, we're going to be talking about the Ace family. A family who, up until this point, I've managed to avoid talking about on this channel because I don't like fucking family vloggers. That's oh, the most boring shit ever. You know what's gonna happen though with all these family vloggers that are coming up now? In about 20 years, if you think the family vlogging is annoying, we're gonna have to put up with their fucking children. Oh my god, could you imagine the children who are famous literally since they were an infant? Like the minute they came out of the womb, they were just gifted 300,000 followers in a pair of Gucci shorts. Can you imagine the amount of country that person will put into the world when they grow up? It's gonna be heinous. You're gonna be talking to the guy and he'll be like, oh, I, uh, I'm actually famous. I'm like, oh, oh, are you famous? What do you do? Well, uh, I grew up. That's what, that's what I did. Oh fuck! I work in a supermarket because I'm a normal person and I work hard for my money. Oh that's strange. I just got it gifted because my dad has a six pack and my mum's got fake tits. So they have a family vlog channel and now I'm rich for some reason. But um, keep stacking those shelves. See ya! Speaking of doing actual things for money, my stand-up comedy tour is on sale right now. Here are all of the dates and all of the cities that are coming up. I got about 15 left and I would love to see you there. Tickets are below. Now, let's get into this fucking family who have been cancelled on Twitter. The Ace family have 17 million subscribers. Makes me feel really good about my channel where I do actual things instead of just film my wife tits and then my toddler fall over. But, you know, everyone's gonna do what they gotta do. Austin McBroom is the head of the family. He's got teeth that are faker than your grandfather's and a name like it would be part of some shitty spin-off Cartoon Network show that would get cancelled after three episodes because nobody wants to watch anything called Austin McBroom. And the mother of the family is Catherine Pays, who has the facial expression of a woman who travelled to the edge of the universe and stared deep into the dark abyss of hell itself and actually did not go insane because she was too unintelligent to even understand what she had to look at. You might remember these two insufferable multi-millionaires from their many, many controversies. One of their more recent ones, I'm going to recap a few of them for you, would be when they went to a kitchen, put on staff uniforms, and decided to pretend to work for their vlog, because, oh my god, how crazy would it be for you to have a normal job, right? Isn't that just insane? Fuck, man. Only multi-millionaire YouTubers could be this determined attached from reality where they think the idea of working a normal nine to five job is insane. Oh my god, this will make for such crazy content. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work in a kitchen for 20 minutes. Fuck, that's crazy. That's totally up there with like the guys who go out into the wild and just to see if they can survive and all they have is like a knife and one camera guy. That's just as insane. Can I survive in the kitchen of a Taco Bell? For fuck's sake. Hopefully not. <laughs> the Ace family have also gotten in trouble after Austin McBroom, what a fucking stupid name, Austin McBroom rode a jet ski in a pool to the point where all of the pool water splashed out of their LA mansion into someone else's LA mansion and ruined their grapevine. This went absolutely viral and everyone was calling Austin McBroom an incredibly disrespectful person, but I'm just gonna say it, I don't give a fuck about multi-millionaires damaging other multi-millionaires' property, okay? What am I supposed to care? I'm s why, why do we care about that, honestly? Like, we have our own issues, yeah? People are out there trying to pay their rent, but instead they're yelling at one millionaire for ruining another millionaire's batch of grapes. Hey, bro, fuck your grapes, okay? No one cares. If you, got, if you have enough money to have a fucking vineyard in your backyard, you don't have any problems, all right? That's the first problem that happened to you in fucking months was someone rode their jet ski in their infinity pool and damaged your batch of grapes that, let's be honest, you don't even harvest because you've got a guy called Gonzalez who does that for you, all right? I don't give a fuck about any multi-millionaire's fucking grapes, bro. I feel like instead of complaining about this on Twitter and calling the police, they should have just sorted this out like true millionaires. They should have just went to each other face to face and been like, look, mate, if you can drive a jet ski in your pool and ruin my grapes, I get to drive my ATV in your children's bedroom and ruin their toys. Fair's fair, alright? 
what are we going to lose? $30,000 and maybe a couple of kids? No worries, we can make more of both those things. And Austin McBroom got in big trouble on Twitter because he took his daughter into a sex store on camera and filmed himself buying her a penis-shaped lollipop. Now that is fucked. I think the only Austin who's done a worse thing to a child would be Mr. Austin Jones, uh, who's, as we all know, not a good person. Although, in Austin McBroom's defense, uh, it wasn't actually his daughter. It was later revealed that it was someone else's kid, which makes everything totally fine, doesn't it? Taking someone else's kid into a sex store and film them sucking on a penis pop. Jesus Christ. But the Ace family's latest controversy, which has led to getting them cancelled on Twitter, come from a man called Cole Carrigan, who looks like James Charles if you pumped him full of steroids and then stuck his lips inside a Dyson vacuum cleaner. He's come out with a bunch of allegations saying that the head of the Ace family, Austin McBroom, is a rapist. If you don't know who Cole Carrigan is, he used to be in Team 10. And that doesn't narrow it down at all. You still don't know who the cunt is, do ya? <laughs> I mean, fuck, if I got introduced to a guy, like someone pointed over at, at Cole Carrigan across the room and they're like, bro, that's Cole Carrigan. I'd be like, oh, who's that? And they'd be like, dude, he used to be in Team 10. I would honestly go, all right, well, I, I, I don't know who that is. That's actually made it even more obscure. The only difference is, now I hate that guy that I haven't met because he used to be in Team 10. This might be a little bit of a controversial opinion here on this hellscape of a website, but I kind of believe, right, I think, perhaps, maybe, YouTubers uh, aren't on Law & Order SVU and uh, aren't maybe, maybe just aren't the best detectives when it comes to sexual assault cases and rapists and catching those types of people, maybe Maybe we should leave it. If, if we're not going to take it to the police, at least take it to the bitch who plays Detective Benson. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like even she, even though she's not a police officer, definitely much more qualified than a dude with 35 layers of makeup sitting in his fucking bedroom reading texts and calling it tea. Cole, before he released his video about a rape allegation, tweeted about it with a bit of a teaser, saying that Austin McBroom cheats on his wife very regularly, and he references the specific instance in the video that he claims is a rape allegation, and then he ends that tweet with a laughing, crying emoji, which really makes his video very suspect because it's a bit strange that you think that allegation is funny until you turn on the camera and it becomes serious. Also, if the wife knows about Austin cheating all the time, obviously it's not ideal for the kids, but also, I mean, that's okay, right? If they're, if they're okay with it, it's not any of our business. I feel like that conversation would have gone down in the Ace family mansion, like, Hey babe, I was thinking of fucking other chicks, what do you reckon? And then she went, Oh, were we not, were we not doing that? Oh, yeah, go ahead, I've been sucking other dicks for months, so... You gotta catch up somehow, don't you? But, you know, of course, we have to hear him out, of course, you know, because as we know, sometimes the law isn't the best at catching and prosecuting these people. Sometimes getting the word out there is what motivates the authorities to move on people if it is legitimate. So, let's have a listen to what Cole has to say came to the conclusion that it was necessary and it needed to be done. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what does Cole Kerrigan have to do with the Ace family? Okay, look, I know I said we were going to listen to what he said, but honestly, he's rambling. I'm going to summarize it for you. And I'm just going to be honest, I don't trust a woman who has nails so long and so manicured that she can't wipe her own ass. There's no way I'm going to trust a dude who can't even have a wank without giving himself a circumcision. Basically, Cole alleges that Austin McBroom and his father, Mr. McBroom, uh, both raped a woman in a hotel room while she was blackout drunk or on drugs and she doesn't remember anything. That's the allegation. Very fucking serious. And it comes with a bunch of receipts, which are in Cole's video, if you can be bothered to sit through it. Problem is, Cole, not a trustworthy person. For one, he's in Team 10. For two, look at his nails. And for three, one of the girls that Cole says uh, Austin was cheating with has come out publicly and says 
that that's not true, and in fact the only reason that Cole is even saying any of this, including the more serious allegation, is for money. This woman posted screenshots of her conversation with Cole, where Cole promised her that he could get $100,000 out of the Ace family by blackmailing them about this video, and he would split the money with her. Now the reason he thinks he could have gotten $100,000 out of the Ace family is because he talked to Keemstar, who was also planning a video about Austin's infidelity, but he decided to drop the video out of nowhere after promoting it on Twitter. Now Cole went to Killer Keemstar and said, hey, why did you stop the video? Did the Ace family pay you to not put it out? And then Keemstar wrote back, yes, they paid me $500,000. Now that was a joke, but Cole took it seriously, and that's why he decided to blackmail the Ace family to try and get $100,000, because he's dumb enough to think that they paid Killer Keemstar half a million. Now, the entire Ace family, minus the children who can't read, have responded and are saying that they are being blackmailed, which seems to line up with this mystery girl's allegation. Keemstar himself has called Cole a lying idiot and said that he has not get, been given money and that was clearly a joke. And there's only one mystery girl who is the alleged victim, according to Cole, who is still a mystery, who we don't know uh, if it's true or if she exists. But the problem is now, even if it is true, Cole's fucked it because obviously he cannot be trusted and he was most likely doing this for money. So either this is not true, which is great, and Cole's lying about the whole thing, or it is true, but Cole decided to come forward with it to get money, and now if it is true, nothing will happen because Cole fucked it up with evil intentions to make money for himself instead of help a legitimate victim, if that is true, which it's looking like it's not. And that brings me to the end of the video. The moral of the story is, hey, if it's real, don't put it on YouTube, fuckhead. Call the cops. Show them the evidence. Let them sort it out. Every time one of these fucking allegations come out, it turns into this giant cancelling party, and then we all wait two weeks, and the victim comes out, and as long as they don't cry in their fucking apology video or their response video, we all believe them. And every actual legitimate instance of assault or rape just looks like a lie because instead of going to the police, YouTubers are making fucking vlogs about it. Jesus Christ. Don't vlog about this shit if it is true. Go to the fucking police and get something done about it other than a bunch of dislikes and a hashtag. All right, cunts, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Lewis Spears. Follow me on Instagram. I'm posting a bunch of uh, extended videos from my YouTube channel. We've got a uh, guide to Brisbane coming out on my Instagram, and it's the extended version if you want to watch it there, so check that out. And if you would love to see me live, I would love to see you there. My stand-up comedy tour, No Slide Season, is on sale now. Here are the dates that are left. I'd absolutely love, love to see you there. It's definitely my best show yet. We're going all around Australia, and uh, it's been fucking incredible meeting everybody afterwards and uh, just performing the show. It's absolutely my best work, and uh, I'm super proud of it. I feel like as a stand-up comedian, I've really grown and, and evolved, and this is... Uh, this is where I'm at and I'm super happy with it. So I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, grab your tickets, and I'll catch you later, guys.